With more and more EVs coming to market, there's a lot of technical terms that can add to the confusion around EV adoption. Kilowatts, kilowatt hours, AC, DC, watts, voltage, amps, regenerative braking, and that's just the beginning. Today on Explained, we're gonna discuss two of these technical terms, MPGE and kilowatts per 100 miles. These are terms that you're gonna see on a window sticker when you're shopping for an EV. So first, MPGE. MPGE stands for miles per gallon equivalent. It's a unit of measurement used to compare the fuel efficiency of electric vehicles to traditional gas powered vehicles. In simpler terms, MPGE tells you how efficient an electric car is. It's gonna help you compare the energy efficiency of an EV with a gas powered vehicle using a common unit of measurement. Another interesting fact about how MPGE is calculated is that one gallon of gas is equal to 33.7 kilowatt hours. So when you look at EV battery capacity, a battery that has, let's say, 70 kilowatt hours actually carries the equivalent of less than three gallons of gasoline. Just think about that for a second. This demonstrates how much energy is lost in gas-powered cars through heat compared to the efficiency of an electric vehicle. Now let's tackle kilowatt hours per 100 miles. This is a measurement used to indicate the energy consumption of an electric vehicle in terms of electricity usage. It tells you how many kilowatt hours of electricity the vehicle consumes to travel a distance of 100 miles. It allows us to compare EV operating costs. A lower value of kilowatt hours per 100 miles means the car is gonna be more energy efficient and requires less electricity to cover the same distance. So when you're out there choosing an electric car, both a higher MPGE and a lower kilowatt hour per 100 miles are important factors to consider, but they represent different aspects of the vehicle's efficiency. A higher MPG indicates that the electric car can travel more miles on the energy equivalent of one gallon of gasoline. Again, this measurement helps you compare the energy efficiency of an EV to a traditional gas-powered vehicle. On the other hand, a lower kilowatt hour per 100 miles means that the electric car consumes less electricity to cover a specific distance. A lower kilowatt hour per 100 miles value can result in lower charging costs and potentially longer driving ranges. Therefore, it's ideal to consider both factors together. Look for an electric car with a higher MPGE and a lower kilowatt hours per 100 miles. By considering both metrics, you can identify an electric vehicle that offers better overall efficiency and can save you both energy and money in the long run. Hopefully this episode of Explained was useful to you. Till next time.